everybody. Hello. This is Terry Tart. Yes, I'm Terry Tart. And I'm Yolanda. Hi. And welcome to another Terry and Yolanda show. Hi, right here in the Yes, Canada yes, Canada. and we have a great show tonight. Can you see my nipples? Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Even through your blue glasses? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow they just like popped out at me. I don't know how. <laughs> well, mm. Terry. What? What is that music? Listen to that strange music. The music of the night. No. Mm. Who is it? It's A.M. A.M. Andrew and Merrick. Ladies and gentlemen. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> A little mood music. <laughs> Get things going here with the mood music. That's right. Mm. Wow, look at that. I know. Ooh, look at those very hands. talented fingers. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> AM, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they're gonna be they're gonna be like they volunteered to be our um house band, so to speak, our our Doc Severinsen, or our who else does those things, those bands for uh, talk shows? Thank you. Paul yeah, Schaefer. Yeah, Paul Schaefer, Paul yeah, Schaefer yeah. yeah. Our very own, <laughs> our very own Paul Schaefer. <laughs> so throughout the evening, mm -hmm. they could interject alien sounds into our conversation. I hope they interject it somewhere. <laughs> somewhere <laughs> and we have a fantastic show lined up for everyone this yeah. evening it's mm -hmm. a full show mm -hmm. Yolanda has been interviewed with Chris Vigalian, mm -hmm. whose new novel is out called Trans, Trans Sister, Sister Radio. Radio. Yes. Very interesting book. Mm -hmm. And then we have some mm -hmm. folks from the Imani Health Institute with us. Mm -hmm. Meg the Copy Goddess. Meg the Copy Goddess is, is going away. She's going into the Peace Corps all the way to Armenia. Armenia. We're going to talk about that. And then we have oh a Pride update with the it. members of the Pride Vermont Committee. Yes, we is here. Yes. Rosa and Tom. I just saw her come in. Are you here? Yes, there you are. Uh, well, we, we of course have had a very fantastic week. It's been, you know, this last week has been just exciting, exciting. Oh, Terry, shall we tell everybody all the news? Yes. I'll let you break the news. Oh, let's tell them together. No, no, you okay. can do it. You we can. were on. We were on Comedy Central. <laughs> Yes. They did a little clip on The Daily Show with Jon Stewart on their segment called Public, Public Access. Access. I don't know why they would choose to put us on that segment, but why they did. did. Do I don't that, know. Jerry. Why, 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 why? Get off my front. I mean my back. <laughs> anyway, they did. That happened last Tuesday. Yeah. A week ago today. And, of course, um, we didn't see it. We haven't seen it yet, although people have claimed to videotape it, and right. we're, we're going to see it eventually. Yeah. Uh, so if anybody exciting. happened to see it and did videotape it, mm -hmm. I have a friend um, that said he videotaped it, and I haven't hooked up with him yet. <laughs> but if anybody else happens yeah. to have a copy of it, but I've had, you know. It apparently did air, because I've had several people stop me yeah. <laughs> and call me at home. So Can you believe that? I know. It's exciting. We're excited. Yay. It's excited. Everybody. National. National, only a matter of time. Yeah, we'll get there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, we'll get there. <laughs> One way or another. One way. Oh, I'm going to get you, get you, get you, get you. One way. Oh, well, there's one way that I want to get it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Well, okay. you can't help me with that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you could. <laughs> beads. Beads, yes. Some wonderful beads. Oh. Brought by our wonderful musicians in the studio here. That's true. I want the big one. You want the big one? I want okay. the big one. There you go. I always <laughs> want the big ones. <laughs> but they're so hard to find. <laughs> Not if you make porn. My friend, I have a friend that makes porn, you know, for mm -hmm. a living. And he put an ad in the paper in seven days and like, honey, oh, all the big ones are calling, child. Really? Yeah, I'll be sending them over your way. Oh, no. good. Oh, please please do. Because <laughs> you know I'm still single. Oh. 
Speaking of single. <laughs> Speaking uh, of. Speaking of single. No, I'm really yeah. happy that we've got the civil unions thing. I'm very, yes. really, very, you know, it makes me very, very happy. But I want to caution people to be, to really, seriously now, on a serious note, to be careful because there's some, uh, you know, the civil unions thing is stirring up all the other people around that really are very hateful. Mm. So I've been driving around the state a lot over the past few weeks. And, um, first of all got harassed in Hardwick two, two weeks ago um, coming out of a diner and I wasn't in drag or anything like that you know I mean I was just in the diner you know and there was this table full of um, men and I walked past and and they looked up at me like this you know and I was like hi how you doing <laughs> you know? and they followed me out calling me faggot and chased me down the street and all this kind of stuff so you know be careful and then in Huntington, this is really, really strange. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you guys are out in Huntington, go down Huntington Road, almost to Hanksville, and you'll see this guy. I, I called this guy up, and he agreed to have an interview on tape, and I've got it. I just haven't edited it for you. <laughs> he's a really wacko. Anyway, he's got this huge billboard in his front yard made out of steel, and it's bolted steel with painted yellow, and in black lettering it says, Our Anus Governor traded Vermont cows for queers. <laughs> okay. What is that well, supposed to mean, right? <laughs> I don't know. But the queers are already here. <laughs> I, know, I, mean, like, you know, I don't really understand what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> what about the queer cows? <laughs> Lesbian cows unite now. <laughs> <laughs> really, let's be we, we have a phone call. Oh, we do. Hello. <laughs> Hi, this is Jane. Hi, Hi. Jane. Hi. <laughs> I was calling because I wanted to know mm -hmm. if you do get a hold of that tape, if you're going to show it your next show. Yes. Oh, yes. We, we were love trying to that. We were trying to get a hold of it for tonight, but we couldn't. We oh, couldn't we're get so a copy. Excited. We're like, oh, they're going to show it. Oh, no. Mm. <laughs> well, that's exciting. Sure, you walk by my house every day. I live on Isham Street. Oh, that's where I live. Yeah. Oh, you do. <laughs> it's a very happy street. Oh, yeah, right. Very noisy street. Some would even call it gay. <laughs> <laughs> All the boys are going, ah, no, no, no. <laughs> Oh, I love the boys on the street. Oh, my oh, God. All those mm -hmm. cute boys with their shirts off playing yeah, they're ball. They're cute, but they're so noisy. I know they're noisy, but boy, they're, they're really good eye candy. <laughs> I think good. That's oh, a good thing. Very good. Well, you guys look fabulous. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, have a good show. Thanks. Bye bye. <laughs> Craziness. Uh, <laughs> so it's been, you know, mm -hmm. it's been crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. crazy yeah. But we had fun. We didn't we have fun on, yes, on the 12th we're, at Boom? We were at Boom. We had a good time. I was cutting the ribbon. And you were cutting ribbon. Telling some stories. And yeah. you know, when Miss Peekaboo were entertaining we're the crowd. Yeah. And, yeah, and you were like, fantastic. You were like, you know, having fun up at the bar with the boys I saw. Well, <laughs> the girls gotta eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, What's John it? Drew. I don't know. Mm -hmm. John Drew asked me to open this. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a Yolanda World newsletter. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh wait. All oh, right. <laughs> you know what? Oh, okay. This is going to be very, very cool. They have, mm -hmm. they have added this little thing. Yolanda makes Vermont drag history by being the first diva of her kind to grace the pages of the nationally distributed People magazine. Mm -hmm. They did, they did, I did call them up. There was this message going around an email that, like, you know, they were doing a story on the most eligible gay bachelors in America. Mm -hmm. And so I called them up and she was like, yeah, yeah, you know, she got all <laughs> excited and everything. So I sent her pictures. <laughs> we'll be featured in People as one of the most eligible gay bachelors in America. Be sure to visit your local bookstore and obtain a copy or two or three. <laughs> And that's coming out in June. It's going to be in June sometime. Yes. I don't know when. But this is the Yolanda World newsletter. If anybody mm -hmm. wants to join the Yolanda World fan club, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> well, that's oh, great Lord. news. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. You know, it's really fun. And, you know, we'll see what happens. She seemed to be very interested, the person that was writing the article about mm -hmm. it. Oh, I certainly hope so. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be great. <laughs> It'd be great for everybody. We have another phone call. Hello. Hi, Sherry and Wanda. Hello. Hi. This is Ronnie. Hi, Ronnie. How are you? Good. Good. What are you guys doing tonight? 
What are we doing? Hmm. I mean, right now? <laughs> right now we're on TV. Oh, I know. I'm watching you guys. Oh, okay. I'm chewing gum. <laughs> well, we know you're chewing gum. <laughs> yeah. What are you up to tonight? Just watching your program. Oh, good. good. Well, we've got a great show lined up. Yeah. yeah. So stay tuned. Stay tuned, Ronnie. Oh, I will. I'm shooting a deer right now on TV, on the computer. Oh, you <laughs> are? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, deer hunter one. Virtual reality thing. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah. Shooting deer and watching drag queens. <laughs> yeah, that's on YouTube, yeah. Where else but Vermont? <laughs> Only in Vermont, yeah. <laughs> What are you going to do with that deer when you shoot it, Ronnie? Okay, well, I'll let you know when I get one. Okay. okay. Well, have a good night. You do that. Thank you so much. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> so. mm. Cyber deer. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Cyber stew. I don't know. I know. I know. I know. Ooh. Wow. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very nice. <laughs> well, last week, mm. you mm. had an interview with Chris Bajalian, who's oh. an, a Vermont author who's mm -hmm. got a new book out called mm -hmm. Trans Sister Radio. And it's very exciting. It is. And you want to tell us more about that? Oh, I do. I mean, I was so excited to meet him. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if y'all know Chris Bajalian, but he got to be very, very, he is a Vermont author and he lives in Lincoln. And he got to be very, very famous because of Oprah Winfrey. He, mm -hmm. One of his books, um, she you had on her book club thing. I mm -hmm. forget the, do you remember which book it was? It's called Midwives. Midwives. Anyway, so this is his next book after Midwives, and it's called Trans Sister Radio. And it's about uh, the phenomenon of transsexuals, you know, male to female transsexual. What mm -hmm. it's actually about is um, a Vermont family who um, experiences firsthand the reality of uh, falling in love with a, a transsexual. And it's really amazing. Now, the thing is that it's a work of fiction, but mm -hmm. it's written so convincingly that you really mm -hmm. believe these characters exist, and you really believe he created a whole town. And I totally, I drove down there trying to find this <laughs> town. To find the town. I was like mm. so in absorbed with this book. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we want to show you that that okay. interview. But I think All we right. have a phone call first. So, okay. Should we do that? We'll do the phone call. Hi, Hi girls. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's Lady Zeta. Hi. <laughs> thank you, thank you. How much money have you raised for Pride so far? Honey, so far we're up to thirty-eight hundred dollars. Oh you are really working it. That's amazing, girl. Oh, oh, and I don't even have to go on the corner to make it. That's what I love. <laughs> not like the old days, huh, Zeno? Oh, no, Zeno. Is, or no, Zeno, yeah. No, Sherry, it's not. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anyways, I had someone special to talk really uh -huh. quick. Okay. Okay. Yolanda, right. here you go. Hello. Hi. Hi. Who is that? Uh, guess who? I have no idea. Courtney. Courtney! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Courtney is a very famous young person, everybody. Mm -hmm. She stood up before the entire, you know, court hearings and everything and testified about, you know, having two mommies. It was very, very, very exciting. Yes. She's a very, very cool young lady. Mm -hmm. Let's give a round of applause yeah. for Courtney. Courtney. <laughs> What's going on, girl? Nothing. I'm I'm doing bingo. <laughs> are you helping Lady Zena with bingo? What? Are you helping Lady Zena or are you just playing bingo? Well, I I'm just playing. Just playing? <laughs> well, I hope you win. I, I won already. Won. <laughs> of course. Here you go! <laughs> you tell me you want big here. <laughs> Courtney has a charmed life. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you called. Is your mom there? Yeah. Well, oh, give good. her, you know, <laughs> give her our love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye, Courtney. Thanks, ladies, you know. Okay. <laughs> Always, a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. That was cool. Yes, it was very sweet. Mm. Okay, so now let's oh. go to the interview, let's that, go to the interview. that you... Yolanda did with Chris, Chris Bajalian. Bajalian. 
author of Trans Sister Radio. With uh, Chris Bajalian, author Chris Bajalian, and Renee from uh, the book rack here in Champlain, you know. Um, this is true. This is true. <laughs> well, we are very excited tonight to interview Chris because he has just written a new book called Trans Sister Radio. Is that, is that how you That is exactly how I okay. pronounce okay. Trans Sister Radio. I wanted to make sure. And um, Chris is doing a book signing here tonight at, um, at the Champlain, I mean at the book rack here at the Champlain Mail. So we're very excited. We're, I have just finished reading the book and I am just. Well, thank you. Uh, thank really, you very much. Truly. Um, I guess, first thing, I'd, if you don't mind, if you could just give, I mean, I could give a brief synopsis, but I, I kind of want to hear from your words. Oh, sure. Like, just a little bit about Absolutely. the Absolutely. Transistor Radio is a love story. It's the tale of Allison Banks, a 42-year-old heterosexual divorced female public school teacher in Vermont, who, much to her at first astonishment and chagrin, falls madly in love with a transsexual, or a man who's about to have a sex change and become a woman, a professor at the local university named Dana Stevens. The book is narrated by four people, school teacher Allison Banks, her lover, Dana Stevens, the transsexual, her ex-husband, Will Banks, who's the fictional president of Vermont Public Radio, and their daughter, Carly Banks, a 19-year-old student at Bennington College. The book chronicles their love story and all of the chaos and conflict that surrounds their love story in this small community, both the school where she teaches and the world, the village itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's a great synopsis. The, um, you know, so now I, I was hearing you saying the fictional um, uh, president, president of Vermont, because as I was reading the book, I really thought this was a true story. I mean, I really well, thank you. was just amazed. I thought, well, he's chronicling, a, you know, a true story. Whose story is this? Obviously, names have been changed to protect the innocent, but this is this is a work of fiction. Yes, it is. Yes, it is absolutely a work of fiction. Okay. But your response to it is absolutely the response that I always hope for from a reader. Yeah. I don't simply want people to approach my books as novels, right? But I want them to approach them as as emotional memoirs, oh. and I want them to have the resonance of a memoir, so that you really do view Will Banks and Allison Banks and mm. Carly and Dana Stevens as mm. real people who you care about oh. in the same way you might approach an autobiography. Absolutely, that is totally what I thought it was, and I really believe, I believed. I can't remember the name of the town now that you created. Bartlett. You, okay, Bartley. You did Bartley, say Bartley. Bartley, Vermont. All yeah. right. I was blown away by this. I was like, oh my goodness, this is happening in Bartley, Vermont. Oh my goodness. Oh, these people in the town, they must be just, you know, they really are rocking and reeling from this news and like the whole story about, you know, Dana transitioning and what that did to the community and all of this. Now, did you have um, characters that you based incidences on? Did you interview people that went through this experience and, and that kind of thing? And if so, tell us a little bit about that. Um, I did interview a number of transsexuals and I did interview a number um, of transsexuals and their partners. In some cases, their children. In some cases, their parents. Uh -huh. These characters, though, aren't even composites. They're, they're, they're pulled whole cloth. That doesn't mean that there aren't um, you know, a kernel of truth floating around in, in some of these characters. For example, um, I met a wonderful, wonderful couple in Chicago, um, a trans, a male to female transsexual and, and her partner, a woman, and the two of them told me some absolutely wrenching stories of what the first year of their relationship was like every time they went outside the house. Yeah. Um, the sorts of cruelties that were inflicted upon them were absolutely mesmerizing, yeah. um, uh, both in the thoughtlessness and in, in the sort of the odd rage that was bubbling beneath the surface. And you know, the, these two women, their perspective absolutely reasonably was, what have we done to earn this round? We've gone grocery shopping, um, we've walked the dog right. together, Mm -hmm. And that's sort of the crime. Mm -hmm. And that, those were the kind of stories that made me realize that um, 
I really cared deeply about the characters in Transistor Radio, mm -hmm. and I wanted desperately for them to be happy. Mm -hmm. I wanted them to have um, um, the happiness that was often denied in transsexuals. Oh my God, that's so true, Chris. And um, here in Burlington, I actually, actually um, run a support group for transgender people. We sort of talk about the phenomena in terms of the word um, transgender, which we use as sort of an umbrella to encompass a lot of different types of lifestyles. And um, I've learned so much <laughs> from experience. just for following their heart yeah. and being visible. You know, I, I, I do know a, a, of a trans person in this state whose house was burned down in a small town, like you described in Bartlett, like a very small Vermont town. So this whole story actually, you know, rang very true. me. Anyway, you were about to say something. So. When I was researching this subject, I was interviewing people at the, the International Center for Gender Education. Uh, one of the statistics um, that, that a person there told me is that somewhere between three to five percent of the people in this country have some transgender experience. Mm -hmm. Three to five percent. Wow. I mean, you know, when you wow. crunch the numbers, wow. um, that's like nine to twelve million people. Yeah. And yet, if you look at the census forms, you see male, female. Right. Which this year in the, tr in the census forms, I, I um, drew an extra little box and wrote trans and said, it is about, it's the year 2000, it's just about time that you realize that there are transgender people in this world. Da, da, da. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, it really um, is the invisible section of the population in a lot of ways. So. One of my favorite people I met when I was doing my research on this book um, is this woman who, um, when she introduced herself to me, she said, don't view me as anything more than a very vibrant 55-year-old grandmother. <laughs> and I said, why would I? And that's when she told me that, you know, she had been a father of three. Wow. Um, and a Navy SEAL. Yep. In the Vietnam War, <laughs> right? she worked so hard mm -hmm. to try to repress who she was and to sublimate mm -hmm. what she was. Mm -hmm. And now, happily, um, you know, she's got a, a wonderful um, adopted daughter in a new relationship. Mm -hmm. She's got a fabulous partner in life, and she's absolutely found happiness in every imaginable life. That is so amazing. <laughs> that is so great. We have a new addition to our roundtable discussion. This is Periwinkle. <laughs> this is Renee. Hi, Renee. And this is Chris. Hi. I'm Chris. How do you do? It's a pleasure to meet you. Karen was a very good friend of ours. Um, we're, um, we're radical fairies, what we call radical fairies, and um, that is a group of, of gay men that encompasses elements of drag and elements of, of feminism in our um, discussion of what it is to be male. So um, I find it really interesting that um, trans, the subject of transgenderism is slowly but surely beginning to come into our topic of discussion as, as you know, people. And what did you learn? What I want to say is that, you know, I've learned a lot about myself in terms of human beings being both a mixture of male and female. What do you think you learned from this experience um, about your own identity? story that um, my wife found incredibly revealing about me. One of the very first transsexuals I interviewed, a male to female transsexual, um, is this woman in Boston. We had a very, very nice dinner together. She was a friend of a friend of a friend, so I, I, that's how I met her. Mm -hmm. Everyone at the restaurant simply assumed that it was a genetic female and a genetic male. They, you know, never would have crossed their mind that this was a transsexual I was having dinner with. Right. Now here's where the story becomes interesting. After dinner, 
I walked her back to her apartment and then took a cab um, back to where I was staying. Now, when we got to the doorway to her building, I shook her hand. Ah. Had she been a midwife? Uh -huh. Had she been a female homeopath? Mm -hmm. Had she been a dowser who was female? Any of the other sorts of professional women I had interviewed for my earlier books, I would have hugged her at the doorway. Interesting. So I was talking to my wife on the phone that night. I told her the story, and I said... And then I shook her hand at the doorway and took a cab home. And my wife said, to, you know, you're really a cad. <laughs> I said, I know. I said, do you realize how badly you just might have hurt her feelings? Because here we had just spent two and a half hours together, and I was asking her all kinds of questions that are absolutely none of my business uh -huh. because I'm writing a book. Right. And I want to understand her life. Right. I want to understand her surgery, mm -hmm. her life now. Mm -hmm. And she was honest and forthcoming. Mm -hmm. And I shook her hand at the door and got in the cab and went off. And that was profoundly revealing to me uh -huh. about mm -hmm. all the baggage that I was bringing to gender mm -hmm. and all the baggage um, that I still had about these issues. Mm -hmm. It's true. I think... Now, as a bookseller, yeah. have you had... Um, has there been a lot come through across your path regarding the subject other than, say, you know, clinical or documentary type studies? Yolanda, the book is really too new. Uh-huh, okay. It's just out. I mean, uh -huh. it's just a couple days exactly. on the shelf. Yeah. Um, as a bookseller, mm -hmm. which is our job mm -hmm. to sell books, um, I find that I'm very honest when I when I approach it. And what this book has done for me is really allowed that discussion about the range of gender. Yeah. And I think that has huge value. Do you? That's what I wanted to. Um, yeah. I really like having folks be a little bit shaken up and say, wow, how does this affect me? How do I feel about this? How do I approach this? How do I deal with this in my life? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that's very, very valuable. Yeah. Yeah. So I love that. Yeah. I love to have something that I can say, listen, gender's not what it was in 1950. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. that's a good thing. Yeah. 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 I think it does have some real great potential, and that's what really excites me about, um, you know, about this book coming from um, a person who is, who is not in the GLBT community and being so heartily promoted by someone who's not, you know, specifically in the GLBT community. So your ally, you know, your allying around an issue that to you seems important. You know, it feels to me that it's important to you. And that makes me feel good. I think that gives some of us in the, in the GLBT community a little more inspiration, a little more support, you know, because you know, what made me very, one of my favorite responses to this book has come from my 72-year-old conservative poker-playing, golf-playing father. Oh who told me after reading this book, it is my, his absolute favorite of really? all my books. Oh, wow. And this is my conservative, you know, widower dad in South Florida. That's totally wonderful. What, yeah. what benefited him? Why did he think it was... Well, you know, he said, first of all, I couldn't stop turning the page. That's true. Uh, <laughs> and he said... I read he, it practically one day, I mean, two days, and that was, that was it. And he said, yeah. he said, I just like these people so much. Right. I'm just pulling for these people so right. much. Yeah. And, I, and I said to my father, even Dana and Allison, he said, yeah, how could you not pull right. for them? Right. The, the, now that was that was a really there are two really amazing parts of that book that one being um, that Allison stuck with Dana through yeah. the surgery and then you know invited Dana to live with her in her home in the small town where she knew they would be under scrutiny and then had the courage to realize that this relationship was not working for her and that she had to get out of it. That was incredible. That was an incredible moment and an incredible growth moment for her. So we were there in bed together? Yes, yeah. exactly. That is 
actually the saddest scene I have ever written. Yeah. Um, this, and I don't want to, I don't want to reveal right, the ending, ruin it. But good. there's a scene when um, Allison and Dana are in bed together, and it was just the saddest scene I've ever ever written. Yeah. I didn't think it was possible to write a sad scene in bed. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> no way. You know. Uh, the I'm loving this mood music <laughs> with too. Andrew and Merrick there. A.M., yeah. ladies and gentlemen. A.M. <laughs> and now, joining us in the studio are two members of the Imani Health Institute, Valerie the Condom Lady and <laughs> Arthur. Take it away, okay. Yeah. It's good to be here. Thank How you. are you? No, yes. we're very well. We're Great to have you on the show. Institute. Yeah. Yeah. We're an AIDS service organization for mm. people of all colors. <laughs> all colors. All colors, all yeah. types. There you go. And what color am I? What color are you? Well, we have colors just for you. <laughs> just for me? They're the historical <laughs> colors and the ready mix colors. Uh, <laughs> I see. Right, see what they are. So but am I a ready mix? <laughs> oh, well, always ready mix. <laughs> oh, oh, no. So oh, we, that's a nice color. Wait, one. Look at, well, oh, that's well, a your color. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Later quite. tonight. Yeah, later yeah, tonight. Yeah. <laughs> but we help people in all sorts mm -hmm. of, all stages of life, and one of the stages of life is the kids' corner. Oh, oh cool. Kids. Um, hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You've been, you've been a guest on our Valerie. show before. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm also from Amani Health Institute, and um, I'm, we're going to have Kids Corner. That will be June 25th, and it's done every quarterly. And what this project is about is um, educating people on HIV, but you have a lot of mothers that don't have babysitters. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't have no one to watch their kids. Mm -hmm. So it's a corner created for the children to um, have some fun and do little nice things, and at the same time, the parents is getting what they need. Oh, good. Okay, so yeah. we distri I distribute the condoms. Um, I'm at the food shelf, mm -hmm. you know, because oh. that's right about where people, a lot of people don't have access to. Uh, getting educated about HIV. So mm -hmm. that's what I do. Yeah. I'm back at the condom lady. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, even brought us you a condom today, which is yeah. a little assortment oh. here. We have the oh, um, have condom music. vanilla flavor. <laughs> we have <laughs> the direct high so sensation. Mm -hmm. We have the um, lubricated strawberry. Yeah. And Beyond Seven. We beyond have, seven. Yes. <laughs> and we have ribs and dots beyond seven. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm so glad you dropped these off. You know, you never know when something might come up. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we have a phone call. <laughs> Hello? 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 Hi? Hello, this is Boom at 156. Hello. <laughs> we had so much fun there last weekend. Yes, we did. We had a great time. We just all want to thank you very much for a good show that you put Oh, on. Thank, thank you. And thanks for tuning in the show at the bar. Exactly. And we have a bar full here watching you. Oh, it figures. It figures. Well, I'm all you know, set with condoms, so maybe you'll be down there later. <laughs> well, I'll be sitting here waiting. You all right. will. Okay. Well, again, I just like, we just like to thank you and hope to have you here again. Oh, well, uh, honey, you. we're going to be back there again. <laughs> <laughs> we had such a great time. It was fun. Okay, thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, Yes, we had so much weird. fun at that grand reopening oh, last yeah. weekend. Mm. And so... And so, back to Imani. Back to Imani. Imani. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a teen mentoring project called Naya. Wow. And that means yeah. uh, promise. Mm. And it is a wonderful project where we interact with young people and helping them stay in school and stay safe oh, and stay good. Yeah. The other thing we have is a Men Who Have Sex With Men project called Emosia, and we're about to go on a great escape excursion yeah. in June. Wow. So if you're interested, call Imani, mm -hmm. and we do, can we put a number on, on that? We can or? mention it. We can mention it, 864-2631. Mm -hmm. okay. Give us a call. It's in June. It's for anyone 
who's a man. <laughs> yes. Who has sex with men. <laughs> oh, yes. Wait a minute. Oh, no. <laughs> Valerie's going. Valerie's going. <laughs> and I'm a woman. <laughs> oh, obviously. Obviously you're a woman. There's going to be a contest on this later. <laughs> really? But there's oh. good bargain discounts, and we'll have a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah. There are going to be people from all over Vermont coming to this, wow, so we're good. all going to get together, go to Great Escape, and scare them in New York. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's what we're kind of one yeah. of uh, what cool. we're about, and yeah. we reach out a lot into corrections and uh -huh. to that situation, and uh, we just try our dandest. Okay. Cool. That's good. And we've been, we've been. Um, the last time I was here, when mm -hmm. I first started, mm -hmm. was October. Yeah. And it's going very well. Good. And um, I appreciate you plugging us oh, again. We love having you on the show. And it's so important. You know, AIDS yeah. outreach and education oh, is so important. And remember, Imani means faith. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. have okay. faith in our community. And we want our community to have faith in us. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Thank okay. you. Great. I never Thank knew what that yeah. word meant. You have so many beautiful words yes. in your um, in your organization. Yeah. I mean, different. Mm -hmm. Imani means faith, and mm -hmm. Emoja means unity, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. unity around here is what we really need. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Nia means promise, and yeah. it's wonderful. Cool. Very right. cool. It comes right. from the Kwanzaa. Oh, okay. Yumojo. Yumojo. Um, well, I'm just getting it together, but I know that because <laughs> I have to remember all of it. But yeah, it comes from the Yumojo, uh, the, the uh, not Yumojo, anyway, it's from the Kwanzaa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. I done messed up. Uh, <laughs> I messed she up all thinks she's just getting it together. Imagine where I am. <laughs> But I know the um, the yuguzu, the yuguzu. Oh, okay. It comes from the yuguzu, wow. which is the pr the um, ten principles of Kwanzaa. Oh, okay. So that's where Imani comes from, oh. and that's where uh, Nia comes from, which mm -hmm. means purpose. Oh, oh, great! And that means we letting the children know they have a purpose in life, mm -hmm. and also to have faith that you know you you still can live with HIV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even if it turns into full-blown AIDS, mm -hmm. it's your responsibility, you know, to take care of your own self. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So. Definitely. That's very thank good. You. That's a good message. Mm -hmm. well, thank you thank both you. for coming thank you. on the show. Right. Thank you. And thanks to Valerie for coming okay. on again. I oh, love yeah. you. <laughs> 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 okay. Bye. 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 Shoulders, ladies oh, and gentlemen. No. <laughs> no. No. I have no visible means of support. I'm not standing up. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay. She's out of control. She's out of control. We have a phone call. All right. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Gone. Gone. <laughs> okay. Well, joining us in the studio now is Meg, Meg the, the copy, copy goddess, goddess. <laughs> from Kinko. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Meg. Here, let me, can I do this? Oh, my darling. Oh. You know what? This is the very first time I've ever seen you in a dress. Me too. I'm yeah. in drag for you guys. Oh, oh my God. Just for us? <laughs> Just it's for you. I put on makeup amazing. and everything. Oh, my God. I know. I could tell. I love that earring. Can, uh -huh. I, can we see that? Oh, that God, is that's very cool. Beautiful. So did you make that yourself? No, a friend of mine did. Yeah. I need we her name and number. <laughs> Get it. Oh, I can't afford it. Uh -huh. I'm a big television star. <laughs> That's what she keeps saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a legend in my own mind. Right, right. That's the song a you wrote. In my own mind, right. Yeah, I think you wrote the song about me. No. Okay. Anyway, you are leaving. Uh -huh. the Queen City. I am. You are going all the way to Armenia. Yes. Oh what is that all about? Tell us about it. It's the Peace 
car. A police car. Well, I'm how long been there been, two how long years. Told you to that? Year. I've been trying to get in for a year. Year. They sent wow. me one assignment, but yeah. I didn't want to go there. Well, it was that? Zambia. Zambia. Yeah. Uh, how come? Yeah. yeah. Africa, hot, big <laughs> bugs. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> Little like things Miami. like that. <laughs> Very similar. <laughs> You brought us presents, didn't you? Yeah, I always do. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Because we love you. Oh, mm. can we open them on the air? It's oh, not honey, like sure. X rated or anything, mm. is it? Oh, no, Maybe it's it very is. boring. Oh. Oh. Peace oh, Corps. <gasps> is it and now you can write. We have your address in oh, Armenia. Nice. Oh, self addressed stamped envelope. No, we have <laughs> to no, we have to put the stamp on. Oh, okay. It's so not you really stamped. think we're going to write to you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you going to have email there? I may. <gasps> I've got a laptop. You've got to give us oh, some, cool. you've got to send us email updates we can read on the air. That'd, That'd be, cool. be hysterical. Let us, let us know if there are drag queens in Armenia. Will you do that? <laughs> I think there are no drag queens. Oh, honey, I bet there are. There are drag They're queens everywhere. They're just in the closet. Oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get a nice place for us to stay and we'll come. <laughs> That would be great. I would love so, it. And we'll no. go to Armenia, too. No. <laughs> <laughs> so when did you find out about your assignment? Was about a month ago, a I month found out I was yeah. definitely going. Yeah. So I've been packing and going well, crazy. Well, you quitting know. job. Quitting the job, uh, yes. Oh, no. I know, we're all going to miss you terribly. Oh, oh, what thank is Tinko going to do without you? I know. Stagger uh, along. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. So you must know a little bit about Armenia. I know a little about Armenia. Why don't you it's tell us a little bit? A very about that? small country. The mm -hmm. climate is similar to Colorado. Mm -hmm. It was one of the first c countries to break away from the communist mm -hmm. regime. From the Soviet Union. Yeah. From the Soviet Union, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if I remember my geography correctly, <laughs> is, find it, out. is it like between Russia and Turkey? Yeah. In Georgia, above yeah. it, Turkey to the side, yeah, Azerbaijan side. to this side, Azerbaijan, oh. and then <laughs> Iran on the bottom. And what, Iran? Yeah, so it's oh. very mm, Where's hospitable. The Mm -hmm. Where's the mustard? It's over here. <laughs> <laughs> over there. Over there. Yeah, you're right. Over there. <laughs> so what yeah. are you going to do with yeah. that? I'm going to do health outreach. Really? It could be anything okay. from mm -hmm. like HIV education and okay. outreach to mm -hmm. teaching people to brush their teeth. Really? To mm. Trying to hook up organizations to the local mm -hmm. communities. Wow. It's a very new assignment. Okay. They mm -hmm. don't have any background. They don't really know what I'm doing. It's sort of like, make it up. <laughs> have fun. Make it up as you go. So what, right, your that's I mean, what did you have to be qualified to do in order to get that assignment? I've, um, I worked as a caretaker for a friend of mine who had oh, AIDS. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. And um, okay. I've done some outreach work and yeah. done some counseling mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. various people. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's what I. That was enough, wow. apparently, to get me in there. No, that's wow. great. I'm just wondering, be because so I've never good. heard of that. Actually, mm -hmm. Pleasure of the Peace Corps, you believe this dragon? I've seen the Pleasure of the Peace Corps. Wow. I'd love to see it. <laughs> I did. Um, they didn't tag me. <laughs> I'm wonder why I'm shy. That could be great. Yeah. On this side of America, they haven't seen. And war breaks out once again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was just, you know, yeah. so I was just wondering what, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, 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 that's interesting. I never heard of that particular position before. So yeah. how long do you have to be over there? Is it just It'll be three months of training three where I'll live with a host family uh -huh. and learn the language, which yeah. will be good. Mm -hmm. And then... They, they have a whole different alphabet. They have a whole different alphabet <laughs> with 39 characters. Mm. 39 characters, mm. wow. And it's similar to Arabic in the way it looks. Mm -hmm. Arabic mm -hmm. and um, sort of Slavic looking, mm -hmm. sort of in between there. So mm -hmm. I'll do that for three months, mm -hmm. and then I will get a posting, and I'll be there for two years. Wow. Two years. Wow. Two years. So you should wow. come visit. Wow. Yeah. I love it. Wow. You know it. Beautiful yeah. Armenia. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. There's skiing. There's a lake. It'll be wow. lovely. Wow. Wow. That sounds wonderful. Well, maybe we'll do a show there. Okay. Yeah. We'll, that. we'll, we'll do We'll look for a cheap airfare. <laughs> I think that's all they have. <laughs> It's probably cheaper to fly to Armenia than it is to fly to West Coast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Much more interesting. So when do you leave on this grand excursion? June 1st. June 1st? Oh, June 1st. She's about to go, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Coming. So everybody run down to Kinko's. Get all your You're copies gone. Gone. I'm gone from Kinko's. I'm gone. 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 She's, She's gone. You yeah. can't see Meg anymore. No. Oh. 
here. <laughs> Everybody's sad. Oh, well, we wish you the best. Are you going to be hanging out at Muddy Waters, maybe, or something like no, that? No, I'll be here yeah. and there. Okay. How long before you leave town? June 1st. June, oh, you're going to leave okay. here? I leave June here first? June 1st, right. fly to Chicago for one day. One day. Wow. And then? And then to Armenia God. the next day. <laughs> We Be sure and go to the Paradise Bathhouse while you're in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I don't think she'd like it there. I'd like it there, but I don't think Meg would. There's too much competition in those places. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on the oh, well, show. Thank we you are going to miss you so much. I can't Bye, believe you're leaving. Meg, the copy goddess, ladies yes. and gentlemen. We will write to you. You will? You will. Yeah. Let us know if you have a VCR. We'll send you a tape. Thank you, Meg. Here we go. Meg. Ooh. Here we go. I love this. I love this kind of music. I do. This is really cool. Definitely. Yeah. Woo. Come on, studio audience. Hey, dance on over here, Pride, Pride team. Come on, Rosa. Let's welcome Hello, Rosa. the co-chair of the Pride Vermont Committee. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Pride Vermont, Rosa. And Tom Crowley. And Tom Crowley. Back again. <laughs> with another update. <laughs> We're having an update handsome. tonight, folks. I like it. You're looking fine tonight. Busy, oh, yeah. busy, busy. <laughs> so much going on. Oh, I know, I so know. So much going on. Busy, aren't yes. we? Yes. <laughs> truly amazing. <laughs> So this who's going to start true. first with yes. this update here? Because there's a lot happening yeah, for Pride, the 30 I, days of I know Pride. we're running tight on time, so I'm going to mm -hmm. whiz through a few things. Um, <laughs> getting calls from all over the country. Oh, yeah. uh, it's, it's amazing. We're getting calls uh, every day. And uh, I, I want to invite everybody to come because I think we're going to have some surprise, very famous Hollywood guests Yay! on the waterfront. Uh, <laughs> and it will stay a surprise. Uh, I will. Uh -huh. <laughs> you aren't going to get it out of me. <laughs> Twist and matter how. No matter how hard we pump him for information, he's not going to get it out, huh? Darn. And uh, <laughs> uh, this truly, as you guys mm -hmm. have been saying, that uh, mm -hmm. this is going to be the best pride. Oh, wow. Well, because um, Vermont is in the news. Planet yeah. Out is coming. They're doing our national exhibit. Mm -hmm. Really? Uh, CNN will be covering it. Genre, Advocate, Out, uh, <laughs> all the local stations. It'll be all coverage. <laughs> so we're really going to be well in the uh, well in the media. I know. Well, we're already in the media um, as the new... Oh, the really? new Advocate magazine has a big section about Vermont. <laughs> all about Vermont. All about Vermont. Oh, there yeah. we go. All yeah. about Vermont. Can I didn't you see know that? that. Yes, it, I just got mine in the mail yesterday. Oh, you can't see the just married sign. I know, just married. And in fact, there's a little <laughs> um, article about our governor in here yes, too. Yes, our governor. Yeah. The oh, anus governor. The anus governor. Howard Dean, the governor who risked his career for uh -huh. same-sex union. Yay, oh, yeah. Howard Dean. So all those members of yeah, the don't forget them. Yeah, who don't voted forget for it. Them. I mean, we really have to come out and support them because mm -hmm. yes, they're all up for re-election. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are. So you have to remember that, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> it was a hard-won yeah. fight. Yes, yes, it was. Okay. So what do you have for us? The other uh, thing that's uh, really big is mm -hmm. the Leah Delaria and yes. Scott Thompson show. Yes. At the um, Flynn. Yeah, at the Flynn. I got a couple of pictures of uh, pictures. people <laughs> of uh, Leah Delaria and yeah. uh, Scott Thompson. Oh. Mm -hmm. Scott Thompson. Yeah, this um, is Scott. This yeah. is Leah. <laughs> right. yeah, right. They're both fantastic comedians. And of course, Scott yeah. Thompson was a member of Kids, Kids in the Hall. Kids in the Hall. Oh, yeah. Yes. So funny. And uh, really funny. do we have time to do the clip? Yeah. We have time to do, do it. We, so we have a clip of Leah. Yeah. We have a clip from uh, Leah Delaria at the Rosie O'Donnell show. Uh, she's on Broadway right now. And. Mm -hmm. um, and it's called delirious delaria and it's delicious it's deli it's delicious it's delirious it's delaria <laughs> and that's the show she's going to be doing here at the flynn theater on oh, yeah. friday night june 16th tickets will be going on sale this wednesday cool. 25 30 and 35 dollars great uh, the show's going to be a big hit we're actually preparing to do two shows because there's so many calls coming wow. into the flint oh, already already and yeah. uh, they don't have the tickets ready yet <laughs> so uh yeah, let's, let's go to the clip if we can do the clip. Clip. yeah leah delaria from the rosie o'donnell show <laughs> Our next guest got 
rave reviews and a definite Tony contender for her role as Hildy in On the Town. Now I'm happy to say she's back on stage starring in the most fabulous story ever told. Please welcome the very funny Leah Delaria. <laughs> They're hilarious. We give them a lot of candy product. Well, that's what keeps them up. Want the footstool? Yeah, because I'm a short one. I enjoy it, too. Oh, my God. There you go. See that? Electronic and yeah, nice. track. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Good Little to see you. To be great. Are you? Why are you crazy? I'm um, busy. Are you? Doing a whole lot. The show is really great, Leah, and you Thank are you. so great in it. It's called The Most Fabulous Story Ever Told at the Manetta Lane Theater. And let's just get it out of the way right at the beginning. I saw your boobs. <laughs> You are nude in this play from the waist <laughs> up, and weren't you scared to do that? Like it's the first time you've seen my boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I was on stage going, she's totally nude. I was not. not I'm from the, my mother's watching this show. I'm coming from the waist down. No, but you, you, it's not like you just happen to be like walking out of the shower. You stand and just deliver a whole soliloquy. I'm queen. giving birth. That's I'm giving true. birth. And most women take their clothes off when they give birth. Right, right. I think they find clothes very confining while giving birth, yes. I would imagine. Were so. you nervous at any capacity? Because you did not look nervous. Not at all. Not at all. Are you one of those, go to the beach, take uh, off your yeah, clothes? Yeah, I'm girl? one of those, like in Provincetown. Although you have to be careful because it's illegal at a lot of beaches. Yeah. To take, you know, in Provincetown where I do it a lot, which is a great, great beach if you ever want to go there. Uh, it's, a, it's a $50 fine if you show your breasts. I was like, what if you show one? Is it $25? <laughs> uh, you know, and how come they don't find fat men? Because... <laughs> Bigger than mine, let's face it. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you so thrilled and nervous, the Tony consideration? Oh, every, stop it. There's Don't a lot of buzz it. there. Are you, is, is it, Where's the wood? Wait, not the wood, yes. There. Wait, you are you are a shoe in everyone. Oh, you know. stop it. No, come on, I'm Leah. You've so, <laughs> you got to know that, though. I'm too Italian for that. I'm way too superstitious for that. Have you yeah, been thinking? Yeah, I'm nervous about it. Yeah, people, everybody says it. You said it to me the other night. You frightened me. You freaked me out. Wood, wood, wood. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very nervous about it, and uh, it was like the greatest experience of my life to be on Broadway and to sing that song, and I had like the weirdest thing happen. Do you know about this one? No, that what? This happened to me? Everybody's going to think I'm weird. You're all going to think I'm nuts. I know you are. You'll hear this story, but see, I'm Italian. We're very superstitious. I'm on stage. I'm singing I Can Cook too, which is the big number that I sing in the show. That you did here on the show. Right. And I did. I did it here. And um, it was the number, it was the song that made Nancy Walker famous back in 1944. Okay, so... I'm on stage, I'm singing it, I'm having a really hot show, the audience is with me, and I look out in the audience, and sitting, like, maybe six rows back, I see Nancy Walker. Sitting hold there. Hold it, hold it. I know. She's dead. She's been dead for, like, six or seven years. Yes, right. she's been dead. So I look out there, and there's Nancy Walker sitting in the audience, and it's not like Nancy Walker, like, oh, it's like, like Nancy Walker from Macmillan and Wife and Rhoda's Mother and Bounty, Nancy Walker. The quicker picker upper. The, quick, the quicker picker upper. And I'm looking, and it's Nancy Walker, and then I turn away, and in my head I'm going, did I just see Nancy Walker smiling and enjoying the show? And then I look back, and there was no one there remotely looking anything like Nancy Walker. So I'm convinced that the ghost of Nancy Walker was sitting there watching me do the show that night. Now, do you believe Smiling that kind of stuff? Smiling and enjoying it. Do you believe that sort of stuff? It could be why we closed. She was mad, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I really believe that sort I of do. stuff. I do. You believe in, like, I'm, angels and the whole... I believe in all of that. I believe in all of that, yeah. Well, I bet if she was there, she was enjoying you because you were the best thing in that show. Thank you. You and the red-haired boy who was also in this... this Jesse Tyler Jesse, Ferguson. Yes, he was wonderful Or Jesse well. Tyler Moore, as we like to call him. <laughs> uh, I had bronchitis that night, and I still feel guilty on the town. I left it into mission because I had bronchitis. But I saw all your numbers. Thank you. Because you were mostly in the first act. No, I had numbers in the second act. You, you missed did? Them. Oh, yeah. but I had bronchitis. That's why we closed, because Rosie left it in her mission. <laughs> That's why we closed. But I'll see this twice. Will that make up for it? <laughs> yeah. It will. Because you want to see my boobs twice. You know it! You know it! Well, I was, I have to say, I was seeing your boobs thinking to myself, she has the kind of courage I do not possess because boobs to the wind. And, was, and I kept looking around. Nobody else was as distracted. They, I, those are her boobs. <laughs> Well, I said, there was this little old lady, this is, we were having a matinee, and you know, you can tell how old the crowd is by the, by the amount of reflection from the, from the glasses that people are wearing that come back at you. So the median age of this audience was about dead. And uh, <laughs> it was a matinee group, lots of blue-haired old ladies. And um, I walk out, and the light comes up, and I start the monologue, and I hear this, like, little old lady about three rows back go, Oh, 
my lord. <laughs> and I thought, and I almost started laughing because I know she was just freaking out because she just saw Hildy's boobs from on the town. I know that's what it was. It could have been. <laughs> well, you're wonderful in the show, and I know that you, like I, love Judy. I, I love her more. I know you do. And I, I love her most. I will give you that you love her most, but I love Liza more than you love. We are saying Garland. That's not like Judy Tenuta. Yeah. You know. <laughs> we're, we're talking. Not that we don't like Judy Tenuta. But we do mean Garland. Yes, and um, I got you a little something. What? That you don't have from my own collection. What? I know you don't have this. Oh, my God. Do you have that? No, this is like a collector's that item. That is a collector's item, and it's for you because I had to leave an intermission from on the town, and I feel guilty. Yeah. There you go. Give me a high five. Now, Leah is a very good singer, which a lot of people, including me, didn't know before she got a chance to sing on Broadway and on the town. We're going to take a break. You compose yourself. She's going to sing a little something. Leah Delaria, the most fabulous story ever told. out too called Leah's Book of Rules for the World. And it is hysterical. It is funny. You it will is funny. laugh. <laughs> and, and it just came out, so I just picked up my copy today. This is rule number 10, learn all the rules and then break them. <laughs> okay. So there's and, more coming up for Pride. Yeah, we want to uh, we talk about our big uh, fundraiser. Uh, mm -hmm. Pride right. costs a lot of money to produce and yeah. we've had a lot of corporate donations, but we're not quite there yet. Exactly. And uh, Brian's going to tell us about uh, uh, our big fundraiser. Yeah. Del Rosa. Come on, Rosa. Rosa. Okay. This is Rosa, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> so what's so happening? Friday, May 26th. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Higher Ground, Winooski, Vermont. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Union. It's a celebration of the passing of the new civil union law and they <laughs> fundraise it for Pride Vermont. <laughs> Wow. So, we're going to be celebrating with quite a few people that night. Mm -hmm. Vermont Freedom to Marry Task Force will be there to mm -hmm. educate people about the, some details about the new mm -hmm. law. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we will have special guest music performers, um, Craig Mitchell and the Orange Factory Band coming up from New York wow. to celebrate with Back us. here in the Queen City again. Mm -hmm. And they're bringing a guest singer, Tina Ann, from Star 69 Recordings. Wow. Oh. Cool. And uh, the Rhythm Kitchen, a Sambo uh -huh. group is playing, mm -hmm. and Yolanda singing there. Mm -hmm. Yolanda. And I'm actually going to be singing with the Rhythm Kitchen. It's going to be we've been wow. working on a, a, a new little thing there. It's going to be very cool. And it's ten dollars at the door. Yep. Proceeds benefit Pride Vermont. Yep. All come out. Yeah. Um, this yeah. event, if you know, this event's going to make the festival at the waterfront, which is going to be a massive festival, tent city extravaganza, <laughs> celebration of culture. Yeah. Um, and celebrities, it yes. sounds like. And special <laughs> celebrities that we yes. can't even mention. That we don't even know. <laughs> but we don't know, but we'll find out. <laughs> I'll try to find out. So Anyway, so that's Union, mm -hmm. May 26th, at Higher Ground. At higher ground. Yeah. I'll be there. I'll You'll be there. there. You'll we'll be, be there. there. I'll be there. We'll all be there. Come on, so <laughs> let's all go to Union. And we're ending another show. We're wrapping it up. So Thanks how about all our, our guests, guests? Come on back and like, come on and take a bow. And Andrew let's hear some and Merrick, our music. Musical AM. 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 Here we go. Here we are. Here we are. Thanks Come for watching. Woo! 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 Watch the Cherry and Yolanda show. The Cherry and Yolanda show? Yeah. Make sure you watch the Cherry and Yolanda show. Make sure you watch the Cherry and Yolanda show. Thank you. Weekly. On, Weekly. On Channel 15. On Channel 15. You did good, friend. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you used to be able to cut that. <laughs> That's how the movie was made. Bye! Bye!